All right, and last but not least, guys, we have Titans, which honestly are probably one of the more OP transcendent subclasses in the game, in my opinion. Um, there are just so many different options and builds and just so many things that you can do with this class. Titans, you guys really got the better end of the stick here just because of the build crafting capabilities and just the amount of options that you guys have. So transcendence as usual, same as the other ones, um, you know, achieving harmony by dealing damage with light and dark types in equal measure by applying subclass buffs to your allies. Kinetic damage generates both light and dark energy. Same, same, same. Uh, you guys get the electrified snare grenade, which is insane. It, there is a slight skill gap because of the type of grenade that it is. It's more of like one of those frag type grenades um not one of the like sticky ones or anything like that you just toss it and let it roll and bounce and do what it does but throw an explosive device energized with strand matter and arc energy that detonates in a supercharged suspending burst and that burst is large it's, it's a pretty good radius that the burst happens um the suspended targets take heavy damage over time and chains jolt jolting lightning to any nearby targets so if you're running any sort of like volt shot eddy current type build this is going to be perfect for you because everything's going to be suspended. It's not going to move and they're already jolted. So anything that will take advantage of them being jolted will make you in turn um, amplified and just absolutely wreck it. So that is the grenade for transcendence on Titan. For the abilities, we're going to have towering barricade per use. Uh, we got the rally barricade, which is the one you should be using. And then thruster, which is the side to side dodge for Titan. We've got strafe lift uh high lift and catapult lift i use strafe lift i know it's not really probably i don't know if it's the most popular i don't really tighten very often but um for melee abilities we've got frenzied blade which is what you should be using um thunderclap eh. shield throw which is pretty good because if you hit a target you get an overshield which is pretty clutch and then you get shiver strike which i think is pretty good too and then hammer strike um hammer strike can be a little bit hit or miss i don't know what's going on with some of these abilities but it just feels like they don't either they either don't track or they don't um like do the intended effect when you do hit something with it so uh that's gonna be a little that's a little weird right now uh for aspects or i'm sorry for grenades we have the pulse grenade which is good shackle grenades which i wish hunters had shackle grenades but titans y'all do y'all thing um we have glacier grenades thermite grenades as well as suppressor grenades i'm gonna say that pulse shackle and suppressor are gonna be the best options for me at least for the type of builds that i run um these these are gonna be the best three options glacier grenades if you want to control areas it's really good in the first encounter um in the new raid the salvation's edge rage so that would be a good option but it's up to you what you want to use really for aspects we've got diamond lance which is so clutch shatter or defeat targets with abilities or stasis weapons to create stasis lance pick it up throw it freeze everything in the area pretty fire you also get knockout uh critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attacks with arc energy increases increases your melee range and damage for a short time defeating targets with melee attacks makes you amplified and restores a portion of your health defeating more powerful combatants increases the amount of health restored so knockout is really really good um you also get unbreakable uh hold and summon a void shield and block a portion of incoming damage gradually draining your grenade energy and granting an overshield over time which can save your ass more times than it won't so this is going to be going to be this is going to be one that you want to grab here um consecration while sliding activate your charge mail ability to launch a wave of solar energy and if you have the pyrogale gauntlets this is absolutely the move 100% the move. I love this uh, aspect with those gauntlets. Super, super clutch. And you always get also get Dranger's Lash, which activating your barricade ability to create a ripple in reality that travels forward along the ground, suspending and damaging targets. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, I don't tighten very often, but I'm pretty sure there is an exotic weapon or exotic uh, armor piece that gives you three of those like strand things that suspend targets. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm gonna have to look into that but obviously i don't use my titan hardly ever i haven't been coming around to him i've been using a lot of strand it's super op especially with um banner of war been using them a little bit more but yeah those are your aspects for it for supers we've got blade fury um perform a leaping slash towards nearby targets severing them on hit dealing bonus damage to suspended targets each successful hit briefly increases your attack speed 
and grants energy for your heavy attack. Super, super good. Uh, because the upward strike um, suspends targets. So it's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, let's see here. Thunder Crash, you get that. You get um, Twilight Arsenal, which is the new one, and it does big damage. Big damage, people. Throw your axe. It shatters into three axes. Have your teammates pick it up. Throw another axe. Get the debuff. Throw another axe. Get the debuff. This thing is absolutely insane. I love using it. Um, I haven't unlocked it yet, but we are going to be definitely doing some damage testing on this one. So stick it here. Make sure you guys get subscribed if you want to see those videos. And I've got more videos breaking down all of the fragments coming in and some different builds that we can use with these. So make sure you guys lock it in here. Then we've got Hammer of Soul, tried and true. Y'all know how it go. Hammer of Soul is probably one of the best supers in the game. Always has been, probably always will be. And then Glacial Quake, which I've been using a lot of. I love Stasis Titan. It is a lot of fun to use. So those are supers, Prismatic Titans. You guys are up. You guys have so many different options in terms of builds that you can run, different types of, you know, structures for your team that you can do and you know the stats are obviously there so if you guys enjoy this one make sure you guys smash that like button hit the subscribe button turn on your bell for notifications and i'll catch you guys in the next video where we break down all of the fragments peace